What's up, YouTube? XAQ223 here, and I'm back with this another video. First and foremost, shout out to all the brothers and sisters in the Lions Den boxing, also the Lions Den MEC as, as well. So, Junior Dos Santos wants to fight Deontay Wilder. I can see many holes in his game. If Junior Dos Santos defeats Francis Nagano at UFC Mipoli this weekend, he will earn his a heavyweight title shot. Though he doesn't intend to wait for the opportunity, if he does recapture heavyweight gold, Dos Santos plan to challenge one of the top boxing champions in the world. Something he attempted to do during his first reign as U.S. champion. Back when I was a champion in 2012, I, cha I challenged Valamir Crisco. He was the champion at the time, and I said I would beat Valamir Crisco in the boxing match. But of course, I'm not a good promoter like Conor McGregor, and he got this fight against uh, Floyd Mayweather. Junior Dos Santos told MMA fighter this weekend, Crisco actually piped me. He said, anytime, anywhere, anything like that. But then I lost my belt, and I lost the fight to Vasquez, and I lost the belt. So it doesn't make much sense anymore to post that fight. Now my biggest goal is to go back to fighting for the title in the UFC, then take the, the belt back, and then start promoting a fight against one of the boxing's champions, especially during the Santos with love to test this time against WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. I think I already had the idea in mind who could possibly be. He could beat Deontay Wilder because everything I see about Deont Deontay, he had, he's a great champion. He knocks out everybody, and he doesn't run away from a good fight. Dos Santos said he's accepted all the matches. Some of the guys pick and fights, but this guy is not picking fight. He's fighting everybody, so I think he'll have a good match. He'll be able to make people want to see this fight, and there's a good chance that it could happen. I've been watching him for a long time. I actually can mind him. His buffer skills are different, but I think that's the perfect matchup for me. I can see many, many holes in this game. Can you imagine if I'm not worried about no takedown, no kicks, and no jiu-jitsu, only boxing? That'll be part of it for me. Does a future fight between Dos Santos and, and Deontay White interest you? Listen, man. I'll just say this. You know, first of all, uh, these MMA fighters need to stop this whole thing uh, thinking that they could just cross over to the uh, uh, boxing uh, uh, boxing world and think they're going to have success. Because, like I said, um, the boxers tend to be way more uh, polished than MMA fighters, you know, especially with our Junior Dos Santos, you know, Basically, he's a boxer himself, but still, he doesn't still have the fundamental as a, a boxer. Uh, he doesn't have no head movement, and basically, his jab is not really on point. So, like I said, if he comes into this uh, fight with Deontay Wilder, and if he thinks he's just going to throw that loop in right hand that he uh, he has the MMA, uh, that's not going to work because, like I said, Deontay Wilder will see that coming. And basically, Deontay Wilder will basically, he will just knock out Joe Duna Dos Santos. And it, it will just be very, very bad, man. You know what I mean? So basically, I would just say this, man. These um, MMA fighters need to stop trying to pick fights with these boxers, you know what I mean? Because, like I say, you're not going to have the success you have in MMA when you think you're going to come into uh, boxing. Same thing with boxers who think they could just have the success going into MMA. It's just. Two different sports, man, you know what I mean? So, but like I said, man, if this fight was to happen, like I said, man, Deontay Wilder, he would, he would stop doing the Santos in brutal fashion, man. Very brutal fashion. But um, you guys, uh, tell me what you guys think of this. I'm out.